Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Hey everybody, it's Alex Bennett. Hey, uh, by the way, Damien, you're a trooper. You know, fuck Skype. Anyway, we'll get to the Skype calls a little bit later in our program, but it's the new year and, well, listen here. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's a brand new year. It's brand new bubs. Hello, Larry Bubbles Brown. A brand new bright attitude. <laughs> Looking forward. You've got a whole new attitude towards life, yes. do you? You're going to take a positive outlook towards very it? Very positive, yeah. Yeah, very positive. Yeah, how you been? Everything how- in my life is positive. My hepatitis test... Did you have a hepatitis yeah, test? <laughs> That'd be the only thing that would be positive <laughs> for hepatitis. Yes. Yeah. Well, you. Well, let's see. Well, you and I have one ailment in common. We both have a hernia. Yeah, and mine's not getting better. So. Well, I just watch the bulge keep growing. You know. Yeah, they get bigger. Yeah. Yeah. But so far, it doesn't bother me anymore. It was hurting well, me. It doesn't for bother you. You're fine. So. I guess you know. Here we go, folks. It's a brand new year with Bubs and Alex. <laughs> our ailment of the month. Yeah, our ailment of the month. Oh, God damn it. Boy, I'm telling you. So, well, I'm sitting around. I've been waiting for a test to come back uh, on my prostate. So I sit here, and I'm waiting. It went, went up last time, so now I'm waiting for it to go maybe up further or down. You don't know where it's going to go, and so therefore... As a control freak, I have no control over what my body is going to say, you know? And uh, so that drives me crazy. You know? Yeah, of course. It drives me nuts. And I don't know why I let it drive me nuts. It really shouldn't, you know? I should just go, well, it will be okay. See, here's what happens at my age. They, they did this about my, uh, let's see, they, did it about, they do it about the prostate, and there's one other thing they do it about. And they go... Well, at your age, before it could, if, it, if you started having prostate problems now, uh, uh, you know, if you had prostate cancer now, it's so slow growing in most cases that you'll be dead before it gets bad. Right. Meaning that I'm going to die soon. That's, a, that's what they're thinking, you know. <laughs> that's the way you read it. <laughs> if, if, if they know I'm going to live to be 100, they go, we better have that prostate operation, right? You know, but otherwise uh-huh. it's, oh, you don't worry. By the time it gets lethal, you'll be gone anyway. And they did the same thing with my, um, uh, with my uh, uh, colonoscopy. They don't give them to you after 75. You know why? Because they grow so slowly that if you do have to have a, uh, if you do have uh, colon cancer, you'll be dead before it gets you. Oh, I didn't know that about that. That's yeah. interesting. So it's nice to know I'm in that range where I don't have to take yeah. tests anymore <laughs> because I'll probably die of something else first. <laughs> and you go, well, speaking of, I thought of you yesterday. I drove by that airport uh, where you uh, were in that crash years ago. <laughs> oh, yeah, my airplane crash. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, Bill Mann, who was a writer for the Oakland Tribune at the time, I don't know whatever happened to him, uh, got his pilot's license, and he said, why don't I pick you up at the airport, and we'll go for a flight, and we'll go over to Santa Rosa, we'll have uh, some breakfast, and then we'll fly back. And I thought to myself, i just broken up with my girlfriend, okay, and I was miserable about it. And I didn't have a job at the time. And I went to myself, well, you know, what else can go wrong? <laughs> Let's go up with a new pilot. <laughs> so I go up with, he just got his pilot's license, right? He just was certified to, fl- to pilot. And uh, he picks me up at the uh, Petaluma Airport. Was it Petaluma? Nevada. What, in Nevada, which has a bad crosswind. Yeah, yeah. 
And uh, well, you're spoiling the story by saying it has a bad crosswind because that's the rest of the story. So anyway, so we go, we have we have breakfast. Ta he takes off. I'm impressed that he can take off and that he, he then can land. I think that's even more of an accomplishment that you can land. And that's then we have we have our our breakfast. And now I'm pretty calm that he's going to do okay. And um, in this atmosphere of what else could go wrong. Uh, we start pulling into the pedal, the Novato uh, Airport, and uh, there is a, as you said, horrible crosswind at the Novato Airport. It, it mm -hmm. in many ways, is one of the more dangerous airports to land on. It is, yeah. Because you've got these mountains or something, and it causes a crosswind. Well, he didn't know that. <laughs> and he, goes, <laughs> he, he, he tries to land the plane now when you when a guy feels that there's a crosswind and that he can't land properly just touches and goes he goes back up and comes around that's if you're experienced uh -huh. but if you're not experienced you you may have practiced touch and go but you don't know when to use it and he didn't know when to use it and we hit the uh, the uh, uh, tarmac and uh, the wind blew us off of the tarmac across, in, uh, uh, across the, uh, uh, the grass into another lane, I guess another takeoff strip, right? And then across that and at 70 miles an hour into a ditch. <laughs> and uh, I, I guess most of you listening to me have never been in a plane crash before. But the first thing you do is you say to yourself, am I still alive? And then you realize you are. Uh, because you can see people starting to run out to the plane to see if you are. <laughs> and uh, also, you then, I, you then sit there for a moment and go, I wonder how much of me is broken. Yeah. Right? So uh -huh. I open the door. And I move one foot out, and I find that I can move, okay, and I get out of the plane, and I'm in one piece. And uh, I've, got a, I've got a couple of little bruises on my hands or whatever. Uh, and and uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Bill, Bill has a couple of bruises on his, on his legs as a result of this. But we're both okay. So I just walked away, and I went, you know, if I survive this, I can survive anything. And I went and fought to get my career back. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, uh, so it was a positive story. <laughs> it was a positive story, yeah. But it was not. Uh, it was not uh, fun. It, it, and the was next the, day, was the plane I, damaged? Oh yeah, uh, the uh, the whole engine was in the uh, wound up in the passengers. Holy Christ! I mean, missed us by inches. And, and the propeller was completely broken, you know. Uh, and, um, and so was Bill's spirits because he never flew again. So, oh, really? Uh, yeah. 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 That, uh, he said, well, that's it for me. Well, you ought to. Uh, and he had spent, you know, a year learning how to fly. Oh, it's very expensive, yeah. And passing all the things you got to pass and all of that, you know. Only to come to the point where he was so depressed by it, he never flew again. So. Well, I'd love to get the uh, the FAA would have a record of that uh, incident. We ought to get a copy of it. Probably, probably. Yeah, uh, they definitely would. Yeah. Yeah. Sound of impact. Yeah. Sound of impact. <laughs> but you survived. Well, we didn't have any. We didn't have any recorder. You know, flight recorder in the plane. Not in the little ones. Whatever. No. Yeah. So, uh, but it was. Uh, it was. Uh, it was a. Uh, it was uh, something. You know, I mean, it, it, you know, uh, and uh, then I, I think I got back together with my girlfriend again, and then she broke up with me again. So, you know, that, that one never went well, but I got my job back at uh, Live 105, I think it was, uh, and I think that's when it happened. Yeah, it happened uh, when I was uh, in between the times when they fired me and brought me back. Okay. And, and uh, so, you know, uh, uh, I figured I'd rent myself out. And here's why. You're afraid of flying, right? 
Uh, not as much as I used to be. I've gotten better with it. But when you were afraid of flying, yeah, would you have been willing to pay me $1,000 to sit in the seat next to you? Yeah. <laughs> because then you could say, what are the chances <laughs> that he'll be in another plane crash? And the chances aren't very good. No. You know? So I was going to hire myself out as somebody who would sit with you on a plane flight to make sure that it wasn't going to crash. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, anyway. So uh, what do you rent yourself out as? <laughs> I go cheap. I'll go for 100 <laughs> The J, You know, I read that James Michener, the author, he has survived three plane crashes. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Well, I, I would imagine if you fly enough. Here's the thing I wonder about. You know, comedians like Bobby Slayton flew. I, you know, he had so many air miles, he never used them. Yeah, you know? Leno had like a million air miles, I think, and he flew every weekend. So Yeah, and, and, and you would think that with every flight you're taking, you're tempting the fate, you know? Right. And, well, and I guess it shows you how safe it actually is. Because think about all the uh, sports teams that fly every week, and yeah, there's never never been a. All, they ha, there is a uh, Major League Baseball has a um, secret, a very secret plan that if a a team crashes, they uh, I guess they're going to take they take they're going to take players from other teams to rebuild that team if that ever happens. And they said it's a very secret plan, but. Well, I mean, you got to have that in place because it's always yeah. a possibility, you know. Uh, it's always a possibility. Excuse me, I have to blow my nose. Hold on a second. Had to kill my mic when I did that because I didn't want people to hear me blowing my nose. Or they could hear me blowing my nose by going... <laughs> you you always hit the cough button. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. So anyway, uh, 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 so, uh, I mean, would you rent your, well, of course, you rent yourself out as a comedian. Yeah, uh, I'm a whore, so I'll rent myself out. And that's a death-defying experience in and of itself. Mm -hmm. I mean, every time you go on stage, aren't you afraid of failing? Afraid of, of course, yeah. To this day, right? Oh, yeah. Now, how, often, can, how often do you bomb? Can, do it you, can happen to any comic at any time, is what they say. Do you, do you, well, there's this comedian, Tiffany Haddish, who I don't know. She's a black comedian, so she doesn't have to be funny. Uh, <laughs> I'm not saying that in any racist fashion. I'm just saying that people automatically, as soon as she uses a lot of the black speak, people will laugh at that which is kind of racist in and of itself. But anyway, Tiffany Haddish went on a couple of weeks ago, the big story, and bombed. Just totally. It was like a New Year's show when she was drunk or New something. Show, and she yeah. totally bombed. And everybody was on her case about bombing. And bombing is a part of doing comedy. You know. Like, have you seen really great comedians just bomb? Uh-huh. Uh, who I've seen... Uh... Dana Carvey was telling me he had a bomb a few years ago for some private gig he did. He said he was just up there sweating for 45 minutes, which I, I didn't see it, but I can't. It's hard to imagine Dana bombing, but he said, yeah, it was horrible. Well, yeah, but everybody bombs. I'm sure Slayton, I, if I had Slayton here, I'd say, have you ever bombed? And he'd go, oh, God, yes. Mm -hmm. you, you know. Uh, who knows why you bomb? Because you, you could bomb tonight. And tomorrow night, your people are rolling in the aisles. Yeah, or you can do you can do two shows in the same night and kill on one and bomb on the other. Do you remember the worst you know. time you ever bombed? Uh, well, it all depends on if there's anything at stake. I remember when I was a new comic and uh, I was on the verge of getting the Tonight Show. I had to go down to uh, L.A. for the final run-through, and I bombed down there at the Improv. So that was <laughs> that was a bad one. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Okay. That's that's a so bad just, one. Yeah, I was just, I remember, total silence. Because if you had succeeded, you would have been on the Tonight Show. Yeah, yeah. I, I, it was the final run I had to, if I went, Good on that one. I had the Tonight Show. I think if you'd gone on the Tonight Show, you would have done very well because you did very well on Letterman both times. Yeah, 
And it's easy. TV's the like they said, the Tonight Show was the hardest show to get, but the easiest set to do. So, because the crowd's really wired up, and it, but it's just just getting there is the hard part. So. Yeah, yeah. Now, now, you you did great on Letterman both times. Well, Twenty years apart, but both times. Yes, yeah. twenty-one. <laughs> yeah, and, I mean, and everybody who was sitting in San Francisco watching you on the first Letterman was sitting there going. Good going, Bubs. You know, <laughs> I mean, we we all knew it was a good set, you know. And Letterman, how how did Letterman react? Did he invite you over, or did he just was he just complimentary? I said, yeah, actually, there yeah, you do your set, and they took a commercial break, and you're sitting next to him when they came back, and yeah, they have they have some bit they set up. You, you do a prearranged thing, and we did that, and he was. It was very nice. I said, well, great job. Please come back. And yeah. And you took, years, you took... 21 years you, later, I did. You took his word for it. Was it 21 years? Yeah, 21. Oh, boy. But now, here's a, here's a trivia question. Who was the biggest person ever to bomb on The Letterman Show? The biggest? Uh, I'll give you a clue. I never remind him of this. Somebody we know? Mm-hmm. I think Will had a rough set. Oh, it there. was terrible. <laughs> it was horrible. Uh, even he will admit it was horrible. I mean, he uh, he knew it, but he okay. bombed big time. Big time. And it wasn't that... I think it was he, he made bad choices. And I think it was based on Bob Morton's suggestions. Oh, hey, do that. That's good. Do that. That's good, you know. And it was all the stuff he should have listened to his own inner feelings on what works and what doesn't work, you know. Bob, whatever happened to Bob Morton? Uh, Morty's uh, down in L.A. somewhere doing stuff. You know, he he's always been kind of working on some level, you know. But he was David Letterman's producer, folks. In case you don't know, he was the. Uh, I was. I was the. My first Letterman was the first show where Morty was producer because he he had gotten they'd fired uh, who was the guy that did SCTV? Oh yeah 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 Barry yeah. Barry Sand. Sand yeah yeah he he got fired and Morty was the first show that he produced was that was the one I was on. Oh really? Yeah. Well anyway, uh, Morty I remember I can't remember I think I know who the comedian was. Morty came to uh, San Francisco to ch just check out comics and also because he gives you a weekend in San Francisco. Right. And uh, listen to me, I'm sniffling and everything. What is wrong with me? Jeez. Oh uh, me too. It's allergies. Oh. Is it allergies this time of year? It is for me, yeah. They're all year round now oh. here. Wow. Anyway, uh, so he, I, I drag him out to Tommy T's in San Leandro to go see some comics out there. And uh, I think it was, I think it was uh, Pearl that he said, I love him. He said, he's terrific. But I'm doing this show, you know, I'm booking this show for Dave, and Dave would hate him. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think it might have been Stephen. I can't remember. I think it was, if, I'm, if memory serves correctly uh because uh, i mean I, I was hyping him on pearl at that point you know mm -hmm. and uh he said per he's terrific but you know he's got the kind of jokes the kind of humor that dave would hate now in those days dave was really a bear when it came to stuff you know i mean he hated himself so why right. why was he, how was he going to love other people you know <laughs> uh and uh, so i mean and, 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 you know, I mean, uh, uh, Morty was right. You're booking, uh, um, you know, you're not booking for yourself, for your taste. You're booking for your boss's taste. Right. And uh, he felt that, uh, I think it was Pearl. I, uh, it, was, it, was some, it was either Pearl or somebody like him, like Reuben or somebody like that. Uh, Might have been Reuben. Could have been Reuben. Um, because I think Dave didn't like loud comics. You know, comics that would come out and yell and scream, and you know, like, yeah, he never. You know, he, for years, I uh, from the inside, I heard 
uh, Dave didn't like Robin on his show. He, uh -huh. he knew he had to have him on because he was a big star, but he didn't like having him on because he lost all control when Robin was on. Oh, okay, yeah, I can see that. And that he he wanted he always wanted to be able to control the situation, and he couldn't when Robin was on because Robin was just you know all over the place. Yeah, I mean he didn't hate Robin. It's just he didn't like working with Robin. Uh huh. Okay. I can see that. Then I I can see that. Yeah, you know. I mean, um, when I was a ho you know doing my show in in San Francisco, I wanted comedians somewhat that would pay attention when I would say hold it down. You know, you ever notice I sometimes give you a hand signal? Well, not you. You never were that boisterous. No, but you ever notice I would kind of orchestrate with my hands? Sometimes? Oh, yeah, it's because uh, some of those guys are just out of control. Yeah, and I would go, come on, hold it down. I would just give the hold it down sign, which you could do on radio because nobody would know you were doing it. Um, but, you know, you, you, you don't like, okay, I think the best way to describe it is you don't want somebody hijacking your show. Yeah. And Robin always hijacked the show. Constantly, so you know, <laughs> what have you, what have you? So anyway, so what did you do over uh, over New Year's and stuff? You worked, right? I, I worked uh, with our old buddy Rob Schneider, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, that was the uh, wound the year up with that. Where so. did you? Where was that? San Jose Improv. Uh huh. And the one thing I've known, which is a hundred, was built in nineteen oh four. Anytime you go to a theater in California that's over 75 years old, is the first, Charlie Chaplin worked here. <laughs> they always say that, Charlie Chaplin. Well, because Charlie Chaplin made all his early films in, uh, what town? Niles. Niles. Which is next to Fremont, which is some crappy suburb out here. Yeah, and Niles. Yeah, he did make, film, he did make a lot of movies there. His first films uh, for the first company he worked for were all done in Niles. So they, yeah. they always say, uh, uh, Charlie Chaplin played here. Yeah, all right, good. Good for you, pal. You know. <laughs> I'm happy Charlie Chaplin played there. Um, but anyway, so how did the New Year's uh, uh, festivities go? Because usually that's a terrible night to do comedy. They were okay. They're not like uh, you said, that girl that bombed on New Year's. I could understand why, because it's, it's kind of a... People just go out because they feel they have to go out. It's generally not good crowds for comedy, and... They feel Everything they have to go out, and if they go out, they, if they go out, they have to drink. So you've got a drunk yeah, they audience. Have to drink. They have to. Ha we have to force ourselves to have fun. Yeah, and so it's a night of uh, buyer's remorse. Yeah, because it can never live up to the hype. You know. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, the best New Year's shows I were the ones you did at the Palace of Fine Arts. Yeah, I missed doing those. I, uh, those, that, were, those, those I were really, great. Those I really enjoyed. And actually, they were good shows because uh, while there were drinks being served in the lobby, uh, I believe it was just like it was an auditorium show. Yeah, and yeah. You don't have a bunch of waitresses running around dropping glasses. and. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, uh, you know, and we did two shows. We would do an early show. Mm -hmm. Started, I think, at 7. And then we would do the late show, which started at, uh, at uh, I think we did 11 o'clock or something like that. And then we would break for midnight. Happy New Year. And then we would bring on the, the, the main act for the night. So, you know. Uh, I, who were some of the people we had on those New Year's shows? Do you remember? You had David Tell, you had uh, Ruben Feldman, uh, who else? I would always hire the same people for the subsidiary acts, and then I'd always book one but person like, you know, like a Tell. Yeah, you'd, you'd have someone like a Tell, but be local like Greg Proops. And yeah. I think you had, uh, didn't you have Kevin Meany? Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. You know, um I mean, a lot of these people were just local acts at the time. Yeah. If people can understand that, how Kevin Meany could be a local act. Well, no, he was, and he was very popular locally. Yeah. Those were the days when you could make a living being a local comic. Yeah. You know. Now you have to have a good friend like Rob Schneider. 
So, <laughs> yeah, Rob Schneider or, and Dana Carvey. Or Dana Carvey. Well, listen, those guys work enough that, you know, it's going to keep you working, you know? Yeah, although Dana's kind of, Dana doesn't do as much. Rob works like a maniac. Uh, Dana's. Dana's really working on getting his kids in the con- he goes out to help his kids so. and I think I think they like you as a as a as a opening comic because yeah yeah you're not you're not going to spoil the crowd you have your no. own little thing and you're funny and you're low key and then they come up with their high key stuff and it it, it, it yeah. you're perfect for that even if even if I kill I'm not hard to follow so. R- right yeah. hey listen uh, we've run out of time can you, it can just you, breezes by. It, it just breezes by. It's a, it's a, a, a and it's, it's a, good to hear from you again, and good to see that you're still alive. After good to hear. We year. survived another year. We survived <laughs> another year, ladies and gentlemen. He's funny. He may be playing in your neighborhood sometime soon. So hide your children. His name <laughs> is Larry Bubbles Brown. Thank you, Larry. Thanks, Alex. Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. And there he was, Larry Bubbles Brown, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, boy. Uh, I am sick tonight. I have, uh, I have some kind of horrible thing that I got a little sore throat yesterday, and today I've just been feeling like holy shit. So uh, I think I can do the show tonight. I think I can make it through the whole show. But if I can't, you'll have to excuse me, all right? And I'll have to say I'm sorry. Either that or I'll let whoever's calling do the job for me. Uh, but as you can hear, my voice is a little hoarse, uh, and uh, it's, not, uh, it's not good. It's not good. Okay? So bear with me if you can. Uh, let me see here. Let me, uh, let me open up the Skype lines. Something that I'm able to do here but that um, he, uh, what's his name, wasn't, uh, uh, Adam, uh, Damien. He had problems because Skype decided to uh, uh, literally uh, upgrade his Skype uh, program uh, without him really asking. <laughs> so it was, it was terrible. And... Uh, uh, I, uh, I feel so sorry for him that he had to go through that because I know what it's like, you know. It, you, you come on, you've got stuff you want to talk about. He said he had a good show planned, and then all of a sudden you can't do it because you spend your whole time dealing with technical problems. And uh, I know the feeling, Damien, but you were a real, uh, uh, what can I call it, a real uh, trooper tonight, and I appreciate it. And I'm sure so did your audience as well. And plus, we've found out in the past the audience loves nothing more than to hear that we've got technical problems. It gets a larger audience. I don't know why. They like to hear us fail, I think. That's what the whole thing's about. But anyway, I'm waiting for somebody to call. And I I really don't have the strength to talk a lot tonight. So, um, uh, oh, man, I am just, I'm plugged up and I'm... uh, I'm uh, screwed up here, and uh, uh, so I need people to talk, call so somebody else can talk for me so I don't have to. Uh, if you don't know how to get on with us, go over to uh, Skype. Uh, go over to gabnet.net, and over there it'll tell you exactly on the right-hand side of the page how to get in touch with us. By the way, you'll notice something missing tonight, uh, as of tonight on uh, up above where we list all the ways you can listen to us, you can no longer hear us on TuneIn. Uh, our live signal is not being carried any longer by, uh, by um, uh, TuneIn. They sent me a letter saying they were ending their contract with me. Uh, and this was a couple of months ago. And they said they were going to do it the 1st of January. And I figured what that meant was we had a little contract about uh, being partners. But I didn't think it had anything to do with just taking us off altogether. So you can't get us on TuneIn any longer. Uh, and I don't know why. I don't know why they've changed their policy. But fuck them. Uh, nobody listened to us on TuneIn anyway. So, Hello, Phil. Hey, how you doing? No TuneIn? Huh? No tune in. Yeah. Well, I guess uh, what's going on? Uh, Nothing's going on. Yeah. Yeah. Why? What? Why? 
Well, it's uh, it's a nice day in the neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah. My yeah. forklift broke today. Oh, uh, really? They're gonna have to tow it, take it apart, and, and do major work to it. Well, you can't work without the forklift, right? I yeah. I mean, deliveries were coming in, and I had to turn them away. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't a fun day. Yeah. Well, it hasn't been a fun day for me either because I've been sick all day. With this, yeah, this you know cold. that's going around. Uh, yeah, but at it, least it, out here. Well, you say it's going around in California, but I'm not supposed to get it here, right? Well, maybe you know people you know. go from place to place. What's the weather like out there? What? Uh, What's the, the weather like? The weather is cold. It's oh. cold. It and, and it was a bit damp today too. I don't know. I didn't go outside. Yeah. I, no, I don't go outside. Uh, hello to uh, Rob and hello to uh, Charlie. As well, who's doing Hello. Uh, uh, oh, you say it's going uh, around in California, but I'm not supposed to get it here, right? Turn your audio. Oh, uh, maybe, you know, you know, turn the audio down. Uh, what? Uh, uh, you Charles, have your audio feed Charlie, on, Charlie. Charlie, you've got your audio feed up. And, and turn the audio feed off. He, he figured it out. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Sorry about that. That's the, that's the internet equivalent of uh, please turn down your radio. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. So no tune-in, huh? No, no tune-in anymore. No. How the hell can I listen? How do I listen to you on my iPhone then? Just uh, do it on the Gabnet site. Go to the Gabnet site. Go to uh, uh, that's that's if you want to hear uh, the live stream. No, oh, you can also hear the show that you post. No, wait, a I'm trying to think. No, of but any- if I want to listen to the live stream. Yeah, How oh, you can I listen to that on the Gabnet you site. You can listen, uh, listen to it on the Gabnet site. Well, Everything. let me ask you this: Does it automatically like TuneIn was good at automatically switching from when one show ended till the next show beginning? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I, does the Gabnet site do that? Oh yeah, the Gabnet Just site. Continues. No, the, 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 oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. right. It yeah. does. Yeah, it does. It, 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 yeah, that's our. See, this is how really sick I am and how loopy I am these days. Uh, the uh, the uh, 24-7 is going out over our GabNet site. So, you know, who else is, is there anybody else getting our 24-7? I'm trying to think. I I, I don't know of any, uh, but uh, there may well uh, the, be. The FCC uh, uh, patrol. <laughs> yeah, uh, but I, I, yeah, that's it. But that was the only place you could do it. But the thing is, nobody listened to it. You know, I mean, it wasn't that. It wasn't like everybody went to uh, tune in. Did, did you use tune in a lot? The, that's the only way I, I, I listen. Oh, I see. Oh. I just use the Gabnet site. Yeah, uh, you can use the Gabnet site, or you can hear the individual shows that you want by going to the right. Gabnet yeah. on demand, or you can go to. But when you're dri- when you're driving, you know, it's cumbersome. Put on TuneIn, and in fact, it you know TuneIn is one of those applications that works with Apple CarPlay. So I can just click on the icon and go straight to Gabnet and listen while I'm driving. Where with with having to go to the website, now you're having to put in a web address, and then you're having to find the place to click. To you know, it's certainly much more cumbersome. Well, there is a uh, there is an actual address for the. Uh for the signal now uh, uh, that you would have to probably pipe that into your uh, or or code that into your uh, into your browser but i make do, an icon but we yeah. do have an actual uh, in fact uh, hold on a second if i go uh, to the gabnet site and i click on uh oh there we go if you click on to the uh, the feed okay uh, yeah, you click onto the feed. And it opens up a player. It opens up a player. At the top of that player, it's really it's just a web page. But at the top of that player is the Shoutcast, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the Shoutcast uh, address for yeah. the whole thing. If you just have that address in there, you can just go to that any time, you know. And a, a lot of times there are players that you can get to pick up various uh, uh, audio services, and you can program it in as well. Right. But you see, and that worked. I, I was able to, and pretty easily was able to go to uh, gabnet.net yeah, and you see click the on URL the, red, up there? the red banner. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. 
Yeah. And it just it, it opened up another browser and it pointed yeah. it directly to the Shoutcast page and it started playing. So yeah, yeah. That's I, cool. you know I wish that uh, it would be nice if TuneIn kept doing it. Uh, TuneIn will accept. I I just tried it tonight and we'll see if it gets on. But I can give them uh, the uh, uh, the URL for our our shows so that they can have them like Spotify has them or anything else has them. Um, so what happened to TuneIn? They uh, either went out of business or because you're no longer a TuneIn partner, they uh, dumped I, you? I don't know what they did. I think they decided to get rid of people they figured were not important to them. But Interesting, because I had it as a, if I'm on TuneIn right now, and where it says recents, yeah. the only thing I really listen to TuneIn for yeah. is ESPN Radio and GabNet, and it, they were two icons next to each other, yeah. and the GabNet one disappeared. Yep. Yep. So that's, Interesting. that's what happened. Fuck them. Okay. Write them a nasty gram. I'll write them a nasty gram. Well, why don't you just start wearing a tuxedo? You know, because if, if you're going to be impotent, you got to look impotent. See, if you go to the old address, <laughs> if you go to the old address on TuneIn, it says, oops, we're no longer carrying this channel. Ah. Now, why they're not, they didn't say in the letter to me why they were going to stop. I thought they were just going to stop with our agreement. The partnership, right. The partnership. I didn't think they were just going to stop carrying it. I wonder what would happen if you, if you, how did you get started in the first place, just before the partner? Uh, you uh, just They applied for it, I think. Uh, yeah, I just applied for it. You can't apply for one anymore, for a live broadcast. I can send, I can give them a podcast. You know, uh, okay. I can give them the daily podcast stuff. Uh, I wonder if it's based on uh, the amount of streams that they, uh, the amount of traffic it generates, and it wasn't enough for them. They might have have a cutoff for now. I have no idea. Have I have no yeah. idea. Uh, but you know, they they said they were going to promote us and everything else. That's why we made the yeah. deal originally, and they never did shit for us. You know. Yeah. And uh, I can't say that the, the stream gets that large an amount of people listening to it. But, you know, you can, you can go listen to it, folks, by uh, right now. People are probably listening to us. And, uh, well, maybe they're not as many. Let's see here. Um, hey, when I had a prostate, yeah, I had not a stream as many. at least every half hour. They're, they're not as many because a lot of people, I'm sure, went over to the, uh, to the uh, uh, tune in to listen to the program live. So that's that's where it's impacting us. Yeah, yeah. So uh, those rat bastards. Uh, well, I, I'd say if you if you're bothered by this, folks, uh, write them a note. But the fact is, you aren't listening to us right now. So, you know, <laughs> they'll hear it on the rebroadcast. But uh, you can always go over to the you know you can always hear it uh, live over at the Gabnet. Okay, but you just can't hear it live on TuneIn anymore. Hmm. Where else could we? You can't hear us live anywhere else now that I think. You, YouTube. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Live stream. Shout, I, I shout. on live stream. Live stream. No, live stream doesn't have it live. No. What uh, about but, uh, YouTube? YouTube, we're live. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, you yeah, but, you but are. The tw but the 24 7 feed isn't. GabNet, no. the network right. isn't. Right. But this live feed is. How about Roku? But that's not. Uh, Roku, Roku, you you can get the, the, the if you have a Roku, you can, get, you can get the twenty four seven there. Uh, so that's one one way. But that's uh, cumbersome, and you're got to be tied to your TV. So, like when I, I listen gotta, to it, it's either it's it's always on my iPhone. Yeah, yeah. you got a message, Alex. I think. Uh, yeah, uh, wait, where? It was tuned in on your phone. <laughs> on my phone. Oh wait a minute. Yeah, I heard. I saw it go blink. Yeah, I heard boom. It was tuned in. Herb Jackson, heard you mention Damien's Skype sign-in problem. Just tried my personal Skype account and can't sign in either. We'll wait to get instructions from you. What do you mean? He could sign in. That wasn't a problem, uh, 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 Jack. That wasn't a problem at all. The it's reason, a, uh, it's a, it, you're being attacked, a cyber attack at Gabnet. First of all, you're trying to sign in while I'm using it. Mm-mm. He said his personal. Yeah, Read he said it again. It was personal. Well, I don't know about your personal, but this one should work. And if it doesn't. My, gap, my Skype came right up. Yeah, yeah. Mine too. Yeah. Mine too. Well, if something's going to go wrong, it's going to go wrong for Jack. <laughs> yeah. Poor Jack. So I'm drinking tea tonight. 
In case you're wondering how my test came out, I haven't gotten the results yet. Yeah, I heard oh, you say God. that. Uh, I heard you say that to Bubbles, so I assumed that uh, that was uh, today. Yeah, well, that, but that was recorded way earlier today. Usually uh, when I got the results before, it was like uh, they post them about 4.30 in the afternoon the next day. And I have an appointment. Uh, you want to you feel good? I'm they, women. I have they, an appointment. They don't tell you bad news. I have an appointment with the doctor yeah. uh, tomorrow to review the results because I figured they'd be in today. But I may have to cancel my appointment if I don't get them by tomorrow, you know, before I'm supposed oh, to go. Oh, well, wouldn't he get the results before you? No. No, we, we, we both get the results at the same time. Yeah, mm. yeah. Because I go, I go to this place, uh, Quest. Uh, you see, here in New York, I don't know if it's the same the rest of the country. They came You're up like, with some kind uh, of new oh law that unless it's your yearly checkup, mm -hmm. your doctor, if he orders up a blood test, can't take the blood himself. Union. So you have to go to a place <laughs> like I go yeah. to Quest. Is the same thing in Texas for you? In Arizona. 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 I'm in Arizona what, yeah. what do you need? A longshoreman to take the blood? No, no. I, no, your doctor can't do it. You got to go somewhere else. You're kidding. That's true. No. Yeah. A phlebotomist it, is not it, a phlebotomist. Except, I mean, except for your yearly checkup, well, in which case he can draw the blood. So, anyway. What's that all about? I have no idea. So, I have to go to this place called Quest, and they do the. Uh, they do it, and, and I have an account with them, and I I can go right online and see my results as soon as they're posted, the same time my yeah. doctor gets them. We got Quest here, too, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I, oh. last time it took them only a day, and now it's I just looked that they haven't posted them yet, so, you know. One week forklift rental, it's gonna be, and they're dropping it off in the morning, 1000 bucks. No kidding. Yeah. What do you need a forklift for? Mine uh, through it. Well, you, well, he, as you know, oh. he had his prostate removed, so he needs a forklift. <laughs> and and uh, my electric one needs a battery, and I uh, just didn't do anything about it. It was just in the corner of the warehouse, and uh, battery's like four grand. So I quickly try to buy a battery today, and I, I can't get it as fast as I need the forklift. So I figured instead of renting one, I'd, I'd have a you know I'd spend the four grand get a battery. But uh, couldn't to get me, a battery sounds today. Sounds to me like so. you're resenting putting out any more money for this company. Oh, very much so. Because <laughs> every dollar I put into it is a dollar I'm not getting back. Yeah. And, and you've had no luck selling it. Yeah. Nah, I'm just going to have to run it. You know, uh, if, I, if I didn't run it, I wouldn't have a job. But if, uh, you know, it's like... Uh, you know, I, I look at the alternatives. I started looking at Florida, maybe, you know, to go there. I could buy a nice place for a couple hundred grand. And, uh, you know, I, I looked in, uh, in Indeed for the job prospects in Florida. And basically, you could be a Walmart greeter. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. can uh, you can work uh, like Dan Myers does on one of those, uh, uh, you know, phone lines. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's nothing. Yeah, uh, I, well, I guess I'd have problem. to. I'd have to be a salesman. Yeah, well, I couldn't even be a greeter at Walmart. Okay, I'm too old for the job. Oh no, no, no! The, the, if, if just tell them you're retarded or something, they'll they'll hire you. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. They like old retarded. Yeah, old retarded. Yeah, because yeah. retarded people smile a lot. Why? Yeah, yeah, and you know he's got decent <laughs> teeth, so maybe he can't qualify. <laughs> so we do, have, we, do have, we do have a place Tony can get a job. Yeah, really. Uh, his teeth improved. I mean, you remember him? Yeah, what, yeah. four oh, years no, ago? No, his, teeth years have, ago? his teeth have improved considerably. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know if he's still doing it. He should. Yeah, no, uh, he is. He's still, he's still yeah. you know, got the braces and everything. But no, it, uh, supposedly, I mean, I haven't seen them in person. I did yeah. see them in person before he got them done, and they were hideous. Yeah, it was Snagglepuss. Yeah, yeah, and I'm glad he did it. I think that, yeah. you know. Well, for health reasons, you need to do it. You know, you can get bacteria and all sorts oh, yeah. of stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's just better all, better all the way around, you know. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, if you have a few crooked teeth, like I have crooked teeth here. Yeah. Uh, but I, uh, what I did was I didn't, uh, um, I didn't, uh, uh, hello there, Ray. Uh, I, 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 I never got them done because they were hey, just right down here in front and nobody notices yeah. that. So, 
sometimes they can grind it a little and uh, well, they, cosmetically they did a, they change did, it. They did some kind of thing putting veneers in there that kind of made them oh. look straight. It's kind of like a, a movie set I've got in there. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. Veneers are nice. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Ray. Hey. Hey, Phil. Yeah. What's up? Oh, hey. Uh, Richard Johansson is calling. Richard hasn't called in a while. Let's see if we... Come on. Come on. Was that the guy from Thailand? Huh? Uh, Richard Johansson. Was that the guy from Thailand? Yeah, but I don't know what the problem is here. I, I try to add him to the group, and I can't. Mm. Let me see here. Let me get rid of him. Let me try calling him. Okay, everybody, hold on for a second. Add this call. Uh, add to group call. Answering will put... Oh, I see. I should have gone there in the first place. Wait a minute. Add uh, to group call, but it won't do it. Huh. That's strange. Okay, well, <laughs> anyway, um, I, can't, I can't, can't it, we can't get it to work, okay? Richard, try again. But it doesn't look like he's online. That's strange. In fact, none of you look like, well, you know, Charlie it doesn't look like he's online. Ray doesn't look like he's online. It, you people are online. Huh. Ray's on bike. I don't know. Huh. <laughs> this is interesting. All right, well, anyway. <laughs> Uh, 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 let me see here. I guess I'm having a little bit of problems tonight, too. Uh, Charles. There's Charles. There's the Rob. There's a bunch Every, of Everybody them. came right on, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah what everybody, would happen? If yeah, they, it's just that it, it that uh, you don't, you're not, none of you are green. Uh, no, that's good. I'm white. I'm a deplorable. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Charlie's yeah. black. Yeah. He's not green. But anyway, so I didn't get any results today. So, you know, oh. uh, so I, I'm going to have to call the doctor tomorrow. If I don't get him by tomorrow, like around noon, I'm going to have to call him and cancel the appointment and make it for the next day. So, you know, well, but I'll uh, tell you, I'll tell you something that's really weird. OK. And something that bothered me this weekend. Marjorie, uh, you know, with this gimpy leg has taken a couple of falls. Ooh, it's okay. easy to do. Okay, she took one in the bathtub, but uh, it didn't didn't hurt. She did one where she b banged her head on the, get, walking out the door of the apartment, mm. and and fell down and banged her head. Is she still using a uh, crutch or yeah, a yeah, cane? Yeah, still got a. Well, she she can walk around with just the splint if she has to, but yeah. I I tell her use the cane anyway when you're out. Not here, not when you're here, but when you're out. Uh, but anyway, so she she fell, hit her head, and then all of a sudden she started getting these massive headaches, uh, and uh, started throwing up like crazy, and that concussion. Then that bothered her. Concussion. Yeah. Sounds like yeah, that concussion. happened to me. That's concussion. Yeah, yeah. She's better today now. Oh, know. good. Uh, so when you hit her. Did you use your hand or a club? I always use an open fist. Uh, <laughs> All right. Anyway, Back uh, because that way there yeah. aren't any marks. And yeah, uh, yeah. No, use a, use a phone book. You should be a cop. Okay, you take let, the phone book and then you beat them. <laughs> let's see you have what to do it Italian style. You know something? I can't add Richard Johansson for some strange, unexplainable reason. Mm, Homeland uh, Security, huh? Uh, let me see here. Let me see what I can do. Build here. a wall. Let me try to add him to Built the Built a wall around the, the, the citizen the panel. He can't get in. Uh, answer this video. I answered it. Uh, you got some kind of problem, Richard. I'm sorry. I don't know what it is. But uh, anyway, uh, let me see here. Uh, did I lose everybody? No. And I, I'm having trouble adding... Um, oh, boy. Oh, uh, there we go. Okay. Oh, there he is. Okay. I, I got him. Uh, oh, Kevin. And now Richard Johansson, I got a problem with Richard. Uh, how do I get him into the group? That's the problem. No. Collect the $10 no, fee. No idea. No idea. Did you hear there were all kinds of terrorists and drug kingpins flooding North Dakota? Really? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Right through the, you know, Where they get the lost? logging roads. They get lost looking for <laughs> California? <laughs> Well, uh, I don't know. I guess uh, need a wall up there. You know, I, I I don't know if I have the strength to get into this kind of discussion. By the way, I think we did get a lot of people listening using. To, oh no, tune in. 
Nah, nah, we're about where we usually are with the audio feeds. Can, can we ask Kevin if his absence was due to uh, another operation? No, no. I've been uh, out with my my mom's been in the hospital since uh, a couple of days before New Year's. Uh, I just assume they permanently implanted that shocker. No, that's coming. Uh, probably next month. Uh, the uh, the experiment kind of went funky. Really? Yeah, the last couple of days it, it, it slipped down the vertebrae, a couple vertebrae. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they had to readjust the uh, the uh, the programming on it. But the flabber shimmer. So, yeah. so what happened? It slipped down, you pressed the button, and you had to pee instead of uh, get rid of the pain? <laughs> <laughs> well, now I'm trying to add SG, and I can't. No, it actually kind of bummed me out because it, it, it was working pretty good, and then it, it slipped down, and they had to readjust the, uh, the, uh, the programming wires. on it. And then oh. when they did that, they wanted me to stay on it another three or four days, but the timing was wrong with new year's and the doctors and so they yanked it out the day before new year's i guess it was and it should have stayed in a couple more days but it, it seemed to work it, the more i left the more i took it out the more i felt like it was working okay. you know the more it was out so well i can't i'm trying to add sg to the uh, to the show and i can't do it There's maybe they, maybe they're uh using a previous show or something maybe they're using the no i think there's some problem tonight uh answering this call puts you in a hold but i can't get this to like uh huh it says add to group call but i can't i click it and nothing happens let me see here let me maybe you can't here. add him if because I, he's using a previous like kevin said if i call him let me see what happens uh uh, no, no you, you, no. you can go off from us and talk to him because, you know, if there's no tune in, nobody's listening anyway. Well, so. no. I mean, oh, stop it. <laughs> Add group to call. There we go. I, this, this time I got it, you know. And uh, let's see if he answers. He's got to answer. Are you there, SG? No, he's not there. See, he had to answer, but he didn't. Hmm. Like fly fishing. You keep throwing the line out. Yeah, yeah. Well, he gave up. There, he oh, there he is. Here he comes. Ah. Here he comes. Here, here. Wait a minute. Well, he's he's rolling well, around, he's but he's he's, around, he's he there. Is. He is okay. You you have your audio on uh, SG the uh, the feed. No, I don't think he does. Hiding behind the wall. Yeah. Are you there, SG? Can you hear us? Huh? Can you? Hello. Can you hear us, SG? I don't know. He's he got some kind of. I, I hear the audio behind him. No, I don't think that's audio behind him. I think his mic's not working. His mic's not working. You can hear us. Can you hear us? Give us a thumbs up if you can hear us. Oh, scratchy. Talk to us. Uh, I just, he, hear I just heard myself. I just heard myself on his. Feed. Yeah, that's why I think his feed is on, and he doesn't hear us on a timely basis. Well, we're What's not gonna, uh, I'll loser, uh, loser. <laughs> I'll tell you, we, we can't get, we can't go through yeah, this. I hear, I, can't, I hear an echo. I can't yeah. spend the whole time just, you know, doing that. Uh, I don't know what the problem is tonight with some callers calling, but I don't know. You know, I give up. Uh, so maybe the whole uh, Skype thing just start didn't boot up right. You have to start over. Huh? No, nah, it's more that it happened to Damien. Oh. He was having trouble. Yeah, and, oh, and, okay. and uh, Irv was having issues with his personal site. Oh, uh, oh okay. Uh, the Skype, uh, the Skype gods are out tonight. They're all pissed off. Yeah. The government's been shut down too it's, long. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's yeah. It's all the Skype government workers are. Yeah. Revolting. Maybe because the government shut down, uh, the NSA is uh, experiencing problems, slowing down all communications. <laughs> okay, let's hear. It. Let's see if he comes back up again. Well, this makes great programming, doesn't it? You fucking Skype <laughs> it piece of does. shit. There he is. Can okay? Are are you there? SG, can you hear us? The same problem. Can you hear yeah, us? Same thing. 
you, well, you're going, you can hear us by holding your thumb up, but would you say something? Does your mic work, SG? He needs, to, he needs to log into the Skype call testing service and make sure everything works. Yeah, yeah, do that for us, would you? Okay, that's it. I, I'm not. I'm, I'm through playing that game. If you have trouble, log in to, it's on everybody's Skype. It's the Skype call testing service where you can test, hear yourself come back to you, know that you hear the British lady, and you're good to go. Right. Yeah, the English Hello. lady doesn't you like me. Skull, Skype testing service. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm getting tired of those English accents. Yeah. You know? It, I've put like, it on my Google Home. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it just feels more sophisticated. I did that yeah. with Siri for a while, and then I got I did it with Siri. Yeah. Siri got too full of herself, and I had to back her back down to a deplorable American. Well, I'm sure she's kind I'm, of full I'm, of herself, I'm, isn't she? I'm sure. Yeah. That. I'm sure. When she's British. She's too full of herself. I'm sure everybody yeah. will be bothered uh, that uh, because so far we have not said one word about the president's uh, eight minutes tonight on national television. Yeah, and it was uh, it was a good speech. And you know what, fantastic. you guys, oh, come on, all, you, all you guys are responsible for that speech. And I'll tell you why. Well, when you're not talking <laughs> great, when you're not talking, put yourself on mute. Oh, sorry, you, sorry, sorry. Because you're right over an air conditioner or whatever. Yeah, uh, it's his machine. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah. See, what's happening is for, for months, we got on Trump about the children in cages and the inhumane treatment and the separation. Now he wants the money to fix it. He, he wants more beds. He wants more judges. He wants to handle these things quickly. And he wants a wall so he can uh, channel well, these I people. Thought, I thought, Phil, that he made a brilliant uh, case for his side tonight. And he changed my opinion about the wall. Yeah, well, now, I, now you know, I, I don't want the oh, wall. shit. Uh, I, I, I want an iron. I want an iron. Bullshit. Fucking bullshit. Fucking I want bullshit. an iron curtain. <laughs> I think we should have a force field. You know, the force it's field. Like a, right. I like yeah. That. Yeah. Um, is Thunder. that's what you got out of that speech tonight, Phil? Yeah, I got the fact that uh, you know he's been pushed into a corner by the by the liberals and the media, uh, <laughs> and, and all of, he has well, danced himself. He has it danced worked. himself. And so now, he, wait a minute, he's Phil, doing, Phil, he's Phil, doing what Phil, you want. He danced himself into that corner. Yeah, so it worked. Now he wasn't going <laughs> yeah. dancing with the stars. He was wait. doing grabbing them by the pussy. But you know. He, he, what he's doing Phil, is exactly Phil, what you guys asked for. Phil, Phil, I don't, I don't, I don't believe a word of what you're saying. Oh, I don't believe you made, believe a word of what you're saying. I don't think Phil. you believe it either, Phil. You just figure out how am I going to parse this thing tonight so that I can be on t Trump's side. Well, yeah. you know, uh, just I'm, like Hannity I'm and just like in, Laura. Yeah, I'm going to be in Washington D.C. on the 15th. And, uh, you know, maybe Trump will have audience with me and I can, uh, you know, explain to him the, the good points, you know. Well, uh, I'm sure if you lobby hard enough, there aren't that many clamoring to get in there. You might be able to get yeah. in there. You could yeah. probably be, you could probably, with, you could yeah. probably be his new, <laughs> chief, could, new chief, of chief of staff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's still yeah. looking for I, I, And I wouldn't need a forklift for that. Right, yeah. exactly. He's not the most popular guy in I, Washington I, right I now. I said so. to girlfriend before we started watching it, Let's see how many times he lies tonight. And I think in the first minute, every word that came out of his mouth, I was going, lie, lie, lie. Wait, wait a minute. Didn't he keep fact track check of him? him? Oh, uh, yeah. He got ripped apart. Uh, he, oh, so oh, he is he, so wrong. He was putting out a bunch of statistics. Where did he get it from? Well, I don't know. Out of his ass, I guess. Bathroom wall. Well, I, don't, I don't think so. Or out of whatever, like reading, put, whatever ever pussy he was grabbing. He, he was reading a script, and uh, somebody Clearly. wrote that script and, right. and gave him those statistics. So exactly. where did they come from? He well, didn't make they them came, up. They came, they, we uh, have no yeah, idea where they came from. Somebody wanted to sabotage But for instance, he went around saying there was something like 30,000 people stopped at the border in the first half of last year. Uh, I thought, be, because yeah, who, more who, than who, that. Wait a minute. Who were, who were uh, on the, uh, what do you call it, list? On the watch list. Watch list. list. Well, they went back and fact-checked that. Do you know how many it was in eight months, in six months, Phil? Six. Uh, it was no. eight. 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 Mm -hmm. 
Eight people. Well, it's a, it's a, it's a start. It's a few zeros. Yeah, but that is hardly what we would call an emergency. Yeah. Well, you you guys made the emergency by saying, "Hey, this is inhumane treatment. This is uh, an emergency." Here comes yeah, FG that, yeah. again, and that's why trying he's to come trying on. to get rid of that. Let's see here. Is he? Is he? Oh, uh, and I, 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 yes, and it it connected him too. <laughs> Now let's see if 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 if, if, uh, if the Marcel Marceau of Gabnet uh, can actually hear us. Can you hear us, SG? Okay. No, he's got SG, the same exact SG, problem. Same thing. Give up for tonight, SG. We can't. We can't. We can't. There's Skype problems. So so you want to hear the 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 fact checking of Trump? Sure. Uh, now, what? who fact-checked this? This is ABC. Yeah. Okay? Every day, this is Trump, every day thousands of illegal immigrants attempt to enter the country at, southern, at the southern border. This is the fact. In 2001, there were 1.6 million illegal crossings. Last year, the number was 361,000. Trump, our southern border is a pipeline for vast quantities of illegal drugs, including meth, heroin, cocaine, and fentanyl. 300 uh, citizens are killed by heroin alone, 90% of which floods across our southern border. Fact. This is true. According to the DEA 2018 Drug th uh, Threat Assessment, the southwest border is where large amounts of drugs enter the U.S., but it's important to note those drugs largely come in through legal points of entry. A border wall won't fix that. Trump, the border, the border wall would very quickly pay for itself through the trade deal we have with Mexico. Fact, there is nothing, there is nothing in the new trade deal that puts funds for a border wall. Congress must appropriate funding. And the also, trade deal, also, also, you should add to that, there is no deal with Mexico yet. And he oh, acted right. like it, no, he acted right. like it already existed. I mean, this this goes on and on and on. So once again, Trump, you know, I can go on and then keep reading these. But uh, uh, oh, and the other one was at the request of the Democrats, it will be yeah. a steel barrier rather than a contract uh, concrete I, wall. This barrier is absolutely critical to border security. Pelosi spokesman Drew Hamill says this claim from the president is false. The Democrats aren't calling for a steel wall or concrete wall or any kind of wall. Trump just, you know, making stuff up as he goes along. Works I mean, there me. are plenty, plenty of, of fact-checking uh, mistakes uh, that uh, well, Mr. How, Trump How do you feel, made in his Phil, speech. about the fact that he makes so many mistakes? They're not mistakes, though. They're lies. Lies. No, uh, no they're I, alternative facts. I, I like it. <laughs> I don't understand how you could like that. Truly, well, I don't understand he, how you could like that. You know, look, he's uh, he's trying to make his point. He, he somebody gave him these statistics. But he they didn't wrong. make them up. And understood. No, but no, you you can you can mold statistics any way you want. You you can you can uh, uh, try to defeat a statistic very very easily. You know, at one time somebody said 100% of all, all pregnant right. women not, drink water. Call, let's not call it's, these it's called syllogistic well, reasoning. Let's not. The, the thing that uh, that uh, things that Rob was mentioning weren't statistics; they were facts. Yeah. Well, then it's a fact that uh, all of these drugs are pouring in, and we need a wall. No, but they're Look, pouring in. So in they're, didn't you get? Didn't you hear the important part of that? Yes, they're flowing in from the south of the border, but they're flowing in through our point ports of entry. That's because there's fences on the no, sides. No, of the no, ports but of no, entry. but they're coming in in cars. Yeah. They're coming in through airplanes, all kinds of methods, and yeah. not. And do coming... you think it's good that then when they come in from non ports of entry that they die in in the desert and that uh, the the children suffer that are uh, brought over? Well, hey, if these, our president uh, feels that's, that's okay, point. I'm okay. Well, that's with why it. he wants a wall. <laughs> you know, he wants to be able to control that and no. put beds in. Uh, and, and have more judges. And, you don't think uh, he wants a wall because he's he, trying to play to his base. He, he wants, wants to spend wait, five billion dollars of I, your I, money. Let me explain That's something. That's just Phil. this year. Phil, he Phil, to Phil, Phil, listen to us for a second. Forty-five billion. Let me listen to us for a second. You say that he wants more judges, right? Right. He's a lying sack of shit because this closed down of the government has closed down all the immigration all the hearings. Judges. 
<laughs> yes. Yep. But if you give him what he wants, no, the government oh, will oh, reopen then, then we'll have the and you'll get all your immigration but hearings. In, in other words, he's stifling immigration now. He's ruining TSA's ability right. to stop things from coming into this country or terrorists if from coming If there's a disaster country. right now, if there's a, uh, an airline disaster right now because something gets through, he's going to really take a hit. Hey, you know, I'm, I'm going to be flying next week. I'm flying in two weeks. Yeah, and uh, well, you know, I want I want to say have, how much it's been nice knowing you guys. Yeah, and, you know, it's uh, I got a five forty a.m. flight, and uh, so out of San Francisco. So that means uh, I'm going to get there at like three thirty in the morning to get through TSA, and you know I've got uh, uh, global entry and all of that. TSA. I got that crap too, but those lines are just as long now as the other lines. Yeah, yeah but the air traffic controllers are getting real tired and real pissed off. Yes, yeah. they are. By the are. way, who is this calling us? Hey, this is Jack Dishman. I had to get in on this, even though I can't get my Skype to work. We had an effective program for 20 years in this country, but nobody remembers it because none of you guys apparently ever read any history. Ever heard of ever heard of the Bracero program? Anybody well, on please, this panel please, ever please heard of the yeah, Bracero program? I heard the name. Please don't insult my 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 citizen panel. Yeah, All right. the name. <laughs> well, the thing is, you know, the, the old saying about if you don't know history, you're doomed to yeah, repeat it or make mistakes. The Bracero program was a guest worker program that we had from the early forties to the mid sixties, where people from the Latin American countries mm-hmm. could register, come to work here make some money, go home, come back. Jack, uh, uh, Bush wanted that, and they shot it down. Well, it's because they're a bunch of dumbass sons of bitches. It wasn't they the don't Republicans want... that shot no, it no, down. No, listen, 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 listen. First of all, what, there's about two cents worth of difference between these two major parties, and you and I both know that. Hey, don't come, we, Phil? Hey, come on. Don't we? Come on, you had that heart... You had that heart there's, operated there's no on. Let, don't destroy the good work a doctor did with this conversation. Yeah. Uh, there, there's hey, no hey, difference. I'd, I'd rather burn up than rust out. <laughs> but look. But, but let's be serious. You know, you got one party with no new ideas and one party with no good ideas. You pick whichever one you think that falls in, in line with. But we had this program that worked for 20 years. You know why we got rid of it? Oh, why? Real simple. Really, really simple. Because American uh, companies couldn't figure out how to steal the Social Security money that these people were putting in to the Social Security system. Money that they were never able to get out. So you had thousands and thousands of people working in this country under guest workership rules, mm-hmm. paying money into Social Security, not a one of them has ever got a penny out of it. Well, you know, uh, they use a lot of social services when... Uh, uh, hey, the truth, is, the truth is our illegal aliens use less social services than anybody because they're trying to stay under the radar, just like we black folks did not, we, not in when we ran off. Yeah, hey, that's governor, a damn lie, Phil. Check it. Show me the facts. Show me the, the facts. Show me the numbers. Okay, the governor said today he wants to make the whole state a sanctuary state. Uh, you know, he wants to take all the uh, Medi-Cal uh, and the unions and everybody and put them into a single-payer health care. Uh, the, these are Gavin Newsom's words today. Bravo and that's the way Gavin. it should be all across oh, yeah. the country. Yeah. Well, how did that work for Venezuela? Because if they didn't have guys like you working with guys like me, keeping an eye on each other, well, working you're, together, fighting it out. You're never going to have guys like you. Uh, and why do you suddenly want to compare? Yes, we wait, can. Wait, All we've got to do is agree on goals and ha- and then figure out how we're going to meet those goals. You've got something to give. I've got something to give. Well, All we've got to do is when we can't decide to flip a damn coin and go on. Yeah, Trump boy. said today he could fix it in 45 minutes if the uh, other That's what that you. That's a, yeah. In other words, if they capitulate, he can fix it, right? And they want really? to capitulate. Well, damn right. It's a game, the and you grind each other down. 
The people that you are gotta be, the wall. You, know, you know, Harry Truman said, whenever people on the other side of the fence want me to be bipartisan, that means they want me to give up what I want. That's right. And that's true still today. That's right. Now, if you can't decide, maybe we just flip a coin and go to hell on like God intended. Yeah. Did Pelosi look in, in her rebuttal speech, did she look dead or uh, uh, that she was a hand puppet? And, Why? And well, if, any, if anybody looked like they were dead, it was the president. Yeah, he looked so he looked so like beat down that he had to read the teleprompter. He always yeah. reads the teleprompter. It looks like uh, and, uh, Ray wants to say something. he reads badly. Yes, Ray. Uh, you, I, don't forget, don't forget that um, Trump had agreed and they had reached an agreement until he listened to Ann Coulter on Fox and yeah. changed his mind. Okay, don't forget yes, about uh, that. You're, and, you're and Hannity's right. and smartly so. Smartly. Oh, gee, yeah, Phil, no. Phil, Phil, Phil. Now I know you, you're you kidding. You realize what now happened? Now I know what you're kidding. How many here, if raise he your hand, think, think Phil has been putting this on. Hey, do you know what would have happened to Trump if he would have taken the first deal? It would have been all over. He would have been it, a... It, look, look, look. He, everybody knew he wasn't going to take the first deal. Everybody knows this is going to be a long, drawn-out process. But there's no need to set out uh, whether to shut down the government while we're fighting. If we can't do two things at once, That's, then we can't do a You cannot believe Pelosi and Schumer will negotiate the wall in good faith. It doesn't have to be in good what. faith. They get... But listen... No, what's this good faith bullshit? That is bullshit. Here, uh, hold, hold on a second. Let me, just anything. both of you. Well, you know why? Both of you. Because... Hold it. Hold it. I want to talk. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. What has been proposed as a stopgap yeah. on this thing is that the wall discussion be separated from the appropriations. Yep. And that the two are separate issues and should be dealt with separately and that the Democrats will uh, negotiate in in fairness once we get the government working again. But the, the don't two, believe the, them. No, but the, the two programs, the two, it should not be part of the discussion at this that's point. That's the way it's always been. Well, don't you want to say that's that's, that's, not, that's not true, Phil? That's not true. The way it's always been is we would come to a temporary agreement to fund the government while the negotiation process you, you, was you going know what on. Pork is. Uh, and yeah, right, and that's part of the American tradition, well, okay, and that's, that's what everybody what wants. That's what that's part of the American tradition, and that's what every every part of the country wants from their congressperson, from their senator. Bring something uh, home for me. A president is giving it to the people that voted for them. Yeah, thirty-eight percent. So thirty-eight percent of the country yep. now is going to rule over. No, the, the country. electoral. It's the electoral college that the elects. Thirty-eight percent you know, you know, was... of the people yep. are on Donald Trump's side. Well, then move. You better move to you know some state. No, no. Let's no. Let's be like good parents do when they can't run the house. What do they do? They get a divorce and they go on their separate damn ways. Well. You know, you've got, a, you've got, and speaking about the Electoral College, a Republican senator last Friday, or maybe Thursday, introduced a bill to do away with the Electoral yeah. College. Was that Ooh. called Romney? Nobody is yet to pronounce, no, by the way, nobody's yet to pronounce that correctly. It's the Electoral College. That's right. I, I know I screwed it up as soon as I said it. And, and uh, Phil, uh, Phil never gets it college. right, that, and he never gets statistic right either. It's statistic. That's sadistic to me. <laughs> but, but but that measure has been introduced by a Republican senator. Hey, there, there's a bunch of now, moron Republican senators out there. Now, 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 why do we realize that we're at a point in this country where trying to stay together as one nation doesn't make a hell of a lot of sense? I say True. grab your muskets and... Uh, and no, we don't have to grab them. Our... No, we don't have to do that. That's called a revolution. I'm talking about separation. Yeah, like Brexit. Well, California, exactly. California's getting ready to separate. You know, I Texas, I don't, Texas I don't is don't the only mind. state. Texas is the only state that had in its uh, admission to the United States a provision that it could separate. Yeah. They should just let it go. Yeah. You know, I've come to the opinion help you with the electoral college. I've come to the opinion that 
the South won the Civil War. If you look at the way the country is today. No, it's just another Civil War. And it is a Civil War. No, no, what it is, it's a family. What it is, it's... Huh? Look at everybody's tempers. Look at the media. So, Look at all, uh, how so, everybody is separate. So, you don't so, think so, this, that, this that is probably a, listen, listen. That is probably a good thing because we've reached that point. You don't. Think we have reached that south, point. North and south all over again. Nah. Uh, there, you know, the uh, what do they call? It's them? much more Ray, complex Ray than that. Much more complex than that. I don't think so. We're the deplor the deplorables. You know. I give a damn with the deplorables or the impossibles. Yeah. <laughs> Look, do you really want to deal with raving crazies like me and Alex running the government or having something to, having some influence in the government? No, you hey, don't. When, when I want this country no. to go down in flames like Venezuela, then you and Will Alex. Will you stop can, with the uh, fucking Venezuela? How hey, does that It have... only took 10 years of socialism to turn. No, no, we no. We don't talk about socialism. What about Norway, Denmark, Sweden, yeah. countries like that? Yeah. They've been around for they've been around for quite a while. Don't talk about countries in which you had and, a and, socialistic and you know government. What? Wait a minute, hold on a second, Phil. Yeah. A socialistic government run by a morally uh, corrupt human being. That's a different story altogether. But you're right. Norway, Sweden, F France, England, Man. all those are socialistic countries. Yeah. So get your yellow jacket, go or I've vest. And, I got a uh, friend who who works for CNN in uh, the great in Great Britain. He's an American. He's been there well, maybe ten years now. He just he just resigned from uh, CNN. He's coming back. Going to live in Los Angeles. And I said, "Why?" And he said, "Oh, since Brexit, man, <laughs> Great Britain is a mess. It's just a mess. I'm leaving." Didn't May lose a, a, a an integral vote? Today over uh, over uh, Brexit, the word uh, is integral. Yeah, uh, by six votes, I think. So uh, they're they're split, uh, and uh, and and the uh, and the party that is in favor of not doing Brexit was the one that won that vote. So they they've weakened May's government and her position even more. By the way, uh, now is even minute. more complex in that you've got yeah. Ireland wanting to stay in the EU, Scotland wanting to stay in the EU, and to separate from the uh, uh, United Kingdom. This sounds like Gulliver's Travels all over again. Hmm. Yeah. I don't now, get that. Now, now, word from our, now, a word from, now a word from our sponsor. A, a word from our sponsor. It's a new sponsor that has a new product called the Fill to English Dictionary. <laughs> you know, I could get one of those things on Google that you speak into it and then it translates. Yeah, yeah. Can you say nuclear? <laughs> <laughs> have never been able to have never been able to say that right. Nuclear? Yeah. Nuclear. Never been able to say it. Neither right. was George Bush. Well, you know, as a radio announcer, you are a custodian of the English language. You should care about whether you pronounce that correctly he or not. plays music. Uh, I, well, wait a minute. I, I did more in my career than play music. Yeah. I always did talk at some station. As, you know, I was, uh, I did a, uh, a, a uh, TV interview program for 10 years. But there's some, you know, there's a thing called dialects, and there are regional dialects, and there are seven of them. And, uh, there are many parts of the country where the way they say things in that part of the world is different than the way they say things in this other part yeah, but of the you world. See, you the thing, are. The thing is, with a word like nuclear, it is so simple to say it properly. It's nuclear. I have, I have, Alex, I have struggled with that throughout my entire career. So I usually try to stay away from saying it by just saying atomic weapons. Yeah. Yeah. Boom, boom. In, it's yeah, new, boom, boom. It's new <laughs> clear, right? New clear. No, nuclear. 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 Now you're getting me all nuclear. mixed up. <laughs> all, all, all right. A good example is this. There are three words that, for most people in certain parts of the country, they can say three different ways. 
the words are M-A-R-Y, M-A-R-R-Y, and M-E-R-R-Y. Mary. Southerners can make all three of those distinctions. Most folks from the West Coast can't. You know what else I've noticed, uh, Jack? That people on the West Coast say often, and people on the East Coast say often. Uh, I don't know. I, I never. I, I wouldn't. I'm from the East Coast. I don't remember often. No. Yeah. It's a uh, like Philadelphia. It's a silent, area. It's I, a, I hear it all the time. It's a silent T everywhere in the United States except out of your mouth. No, I don't use the T. <laughs> uh, another word that doesn't Here, exist. Here's, here's that one. Here's use. one that differs. Oh man, I'm getting lightheaded now. Yeah, oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah, uh, is, uh, uh, pronounce this for me. R O O F. Roof. Rob? Roof, yeah. Roof. How about you, Roof. Ray? Roof. No. Uh, roof. No, wait a minute. Well, well, I call, I, you know, what was the, uh, uh, roof is how I say it. Uh, some parts of the country it's roof. I mean, there's no proper way of doing it. I think that's right. the way Dalmatians say it too. Roof. <laughs> Alex, I think roof is a is well, a that way reminds that you say me. That Francisco. reminds me of the oldest well, joke my father ever taught me. Yeah, what's that? Guy goes into a bar with a dog. He says this dog can talk, and if you give me a free drink, I'll uh, it, I'll if you, I'll have him talk if you give me a free drink. And he goes, so they go, okay. Well, let's see your goddamn dog talk. And he says, okay. Uh, what's on top of a house? And the dog goes, roof. <laughs> and uh, the guy goes, uh, I'm sorry, I can't give you a drink for that. That's the way a dog barks. He goes, roof. Uh, I, he says, okay, let, let me just try it one more time, and I'll prove to you he can talk. He says, what does sandpaper feel like? And the dog goes, roof, roof. And the guy goes, just take your fucking dog and get out of here. He said, well, wait a minute, I, one more. Give me one more chance. And the, guy, the bartender goes, okay, one more chance, but then you're out of here. And um, he says, who is the greatest baseball player of all time? And the dog goes, Ruth, Ruth. And the bartender picks both of them up and throws them out the front door of the bar. And as they're sitting there on the curb, the dog looks over at the guy and goes, why was it DiMaggio? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so if you did that one, I'll tell you the story that my dad told me when I was a boy. Yeah, it was about the zebra that ran off from the zoo, and the zebra walked upon a farm, and he saw this animal, and he walked up to the animal and said, "What are you? And what do you do here on the farm?" And the animal said, well, I'm a chicken, and I lay eggs here on the farm for the farmer. He walked over to another animal that kind of looked like him, and he said, and what are you, and what do you do here on the farm? And the animal said, I'm a horse, and I plow here on the farm for the farmer. And he walked on, and he saw this out in this field, this big, shiny, slick animal with horns. And he trotted up to the animal and said, hey, I'm a zebra, and what are you? And the animal said, well, I'm a bull, and if you drop those striped pajamas, I'll show you what the hell I do here on the farm. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Johansson is writing me and saying, hey, Alex, can you see my chat? Yes. <laughs> I can see your chat. So what's your problem with your, uh, with your uh, uh, Skype? Well, I went to my, when I heard you talking about Damien, I decided I would check my personal Skype mm -hmm. to see if I could just get into Skype. Mm -hmm. I get this message that says, seeing as how your Skype has not been updated in a long, long time, unless you either, unless you update now, you cannot get in. Uh, really? That's what it said. Really? Now man. I'm going to take Mr. Bennett's advice and I'm going to wait here for another... Um, 50 uh, thir uh, uh, 32 well, minutes since to see you, if I can look, get in. look since you don't since you don't need the old one like I do uh my what do you don't need the old one like you do you're not on video you're not you don't use video so uh I what I'm saying is you could probably just convert to the new one 
but I don't know. But can you just, can, can I, you just I, click on it because, like we have been doing, and and, it, and the calls get added? Because because this had this yeah, because yeah. you had the, he had that problem. I tried turning mine off. Mine's on uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, classic. Uh, it's on classic, but uh, I turn I uh, it turned it off and then turned it back on, and it was uh, it was fine. You know, it didn't ask me for that. It asked me, do I want to upgrade? But I tell it no. You know, but it, you, well, I don't even get a no. I get either update or quit. You know, you could probably install the new one, and if you if it doesn't work for you, you can maybe reinstall the old one. Alex is always saying that he's able to reinstall. Well, that's what. Well, uh, when it didn't work six months ago, I you know got the old one reinstalled, and that's what I've been using since we first had problems with the new Skype. Mm. Skype Eagle. Hey Jack. Skype Eagle. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't get that I, that message, and I have the old one. It's kind of weird. I have Windows too. You have Windows too. Well, this is on a yeah. Windows machine. Mine is yeah. on a Windows machine. I've got yeah, me the seven point one one five or something edition. Yeah, me too. The Maybe it's your version of Windows. Choosing. Maybe it's your version of Windows. You got Windows too. I never heard of it. I've got Windows eight. Mm. I mean, no, I got Windows 10. I got Windows 10 on this no Windows 10. So it's time you got a Mac. There you go. <laughs> well, you I'm know, not allowed to have a Mac. Why are you not a pimp? Why are you not allowed to have a Mac? Because my computer guy doesn't know, doesn't like Mac. My wife doesn't like Mac. My <laughs> stepson, who used to buy computers for the company that he works for, doesn't like Mac. So they told me you can't have a Mac, you luddite. Do you know what the you know what the what, what the they Mac does do you. though? It will play the old uh, the old Skype without you know giving and, you a bad time you know, about having to sign it, up. It, Macs just work. You don't need. I know. I, 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 I know. Uh, like I know. Uh, I have tried Macs. I've used them at work. I like Macs, but I don't. But I want to keep happiness in my home. I like snuggling up to Mama when I get through doing this. Broadcast. Just get a second, you know, get a CPU like Alex did with the what is it, the Mac Mini. Yeah. Uh, you know, just a basic Mac Mini uh, is all you need, really. Yeah. Well, I'll I'll consider that. Well, I mean, uh, it could be. It could be. I didn't. I didn't completely stop my uh, my uh, uh, Skype, which I'll try later. Uh, but I didn't stop my Skype, and uh, so, but I I signed out from Skype. And uh, it, uh, you know, uh, it, it. Well, that was the mistake I think I made over the weekend. I signed out of Skype. Well, I mean, I'm going to do it and see what happens. And if uh, if it fucks up, then I just won't do shows anymore. <laughs> you know, I mean, I I can't uh, I can't work with that new Skype. I'm sorry, it just looks terrible. Looks Since terrible. Since Bree is a techno a techno uh, is into technology. Maybe he knows what's going on with the Skype and the uh, new and the old. Do you, do you get into that at all? No. No. Uh, you're muted. I saw a thing about uh, uh, some other. Wait, wait, wait. You're muted. You're good. muted, uh, uh, Bree. I, I was calling in, yeah. Jack. It doesn't work on this phone. It's just, I don't know. It, the audio is bad. It's, it's just uh, difficult to listen to when he, he gets upset. Uh, and starts yelling on the phone, you know, I don't know. Well, it's difficult okay. to listen whenever Jack is talking. <laughs> oh, oh, stop it, Phil. I'm, I'm a deeply emotional man. I am yeah. passionate about my issues. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think maybe what you if, should if you, do, what you should do is probably hang up and go install the new one so you can have a show tonight. Well, let's see what happens. I'll do that, and we'll have a show. If not, we'll have a repeat or something. Yeah. Okay. And, and, yeah. and Alex can send you some of that gabapentin, you know. <laughs> oh, I've got gabapentin. Uh, yeah. It's I've a, even got some quaaludes if I look around here. <laughs> really? Send them this way. Yeah. But they're bye. Pro they're probably bye. stale. Okay. Bye bye. Uh, boy, I don't know. I'm going to have to turn mine off completely and see what happens, you know. Uh, it should have, it should have uh, probably sent me a notification. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows what the story is? Uh, oh, look, uh, people are working there, out. There must be a wow. mirror. Yeah, he's he, uh, That must be the mirror that, yeah. 
I've never been able to do that. Like, I can't be a hamster on a wheel. Like, I can, there's a <laughs> marina here where I can go walking or ride my bike. If I'm going somewhere or if I'm accomplishing something, yeah. I can do it. But I can't sit and, you know, do these exercises on these machines with lots of other people around. To me, it's just too weird. Yeah, well, I can only do it when I'm on GabNet. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just really weird. <laughs> Wow. Well, anyway, I'm kidding. I'm just wondering if I, when I sign off tonight, I'm going to turn off my Skype completely and then reboot it and see what happens. Uh, it may It'll give me a bad time. The new one. How about how about you, Rob? Are you using the new Skype? Yeah, I've yeah. been using it for a long time, and I'm on a Mac, so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, on a Mac, I don't even have to. I can use anything I want to. You know. Yeah, but it, it, I kind of got used to the new Mac, and I, you know, I like it. I mean, the new Skype, and it's it's uh, the quality is good. Yeah, yeah, but you know, for me, it's it's too much. He needs you know. to be able to put everybody in an equal. Yeah, box. you don't like you don't like the bubbles, right? I don't like the bubbles, and if I could put as many people as I wanted to on the screen as a, at a time, but you can only do four at a time. I thought yeah. you liked Larry. Right. Right. What? You can only do four at a time, and everybody else is a he bubble. He, doesn't, he says he doesn't like the bubbles. The bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> I watched that Netflix, uh, no, that Amazon Prime special about uh, bubbles and... Um, uh, Standing? Uh, yeah, that, that, uh, that's yeah. The, the one that uh, Jason recommended yeah. Friday. Yeah. yeah. You're in it, actually, Alex. Yes, I am. What's it called? What's it called? I want to see it. It's called Three... Still Standing. Three Still Standing, yeah. Yeah. I think they used me in a clip from Comedy Tonight, right? Something like that? Yeah. You introduce... You introduce... You, or you, you... What you do is you say uh, it was a comedy um, uh, competition, mm -hmm. and you announce the winner. Do you get uh, a check for that? No. I didn't, even, I didn't even get anybody ask me permission. You get, and, but you get a thank you in it. Did I? Yeah. Oh. The end. Your name is mentioned. Oh, okay. All right. I, I forgot about that. It's been so long since I saw it. You know. Alex, I you go with go to the old. union. Take care of that. Yeah, what? Credit yeah. doesn't pay the bills. You got to go to the union. Take care of that. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. I'm sure this. The, I'm sure this production was SAG associated. You know. <laughs> um, uh, is is Netflix not a union uh, show? Not Netflix. It's Amazon Prime. Oh, am, oh. And well, it, Bezos that, doesn't have to. Is pay. it Amazon Prime that was on? Okay. Amazon Prime. Yeah. So yeah. he's special. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it's uh, it's an independent production. They just bought the rights to use it. You know. Right. Or for all we know, they gave them the rights to use it because. Well, yeah, it's a distribution. Yeah. A lot of these. I just negotiate Prime for Life. Yeah, huh? just tell Maybe. them you want free yeah. prime. Free shipping for life, goddammit. <laughs> oh, boy. My throat is so in such bad shape. Mm. Anyway, so we've got... Uh, so Trump uh, took, uh, took uh, money, and it took time out for people. Uh, I noticed that Jack Bishop is online now, so it looks like he's probably able to use his... Whatever. Not necessarily, because you, you had uh, SG and a few others call you that were online. They couldn't get through. Yeah, but the SG's problem was he couldn't hear us, or he couldn't. Yeah, that was his computer. That was him. Yeah, uh, he had a very poor connection. Richard Johansson, that one I can't figure out. Okay, he was the only true problem we had tonight. You know. Yeah. Uh, but uh, SG just you know, and I couldn't I couldn't keep going to the phone and having him not talk. You know. Not yeah. be able to talk but, and then spend time trying to fix that problem for him, you know. Well, I didn't hear Damien's issues, but uh, you know he's he can you know he's smart enough that he can well, figure it uh, out. Dam Damien's issue was that the program updated itself without him asking. Oh, Let's see, that but was why the would why would that be an issue on his show? Because all of a sudden he went on the air tonight and he had a different Skype than he had uh, when he last used it. Oh. You know, so that's the problem. You know, but it, it just automatically updated itself. 
You know, on Windows, there's a, a a Skype that's part of Windows, and if you have automatic update on, that's what it'll do. That's what happened to me. I had to turn it off, and then reinstall the old one. Yeah, uh, you know, yeah. I was reading today that on yeah, uh, that these Google the phones, that uh, Facebook is uh, is an application that you cannot remove. Uh, on, you know, on Google they're in, phones. They're in everything. Well, whatever uses their operating system. I don't know what the name of that operating well, system is. Well, that would be is. Google. Android. It, 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 Android. Uh, Android. I, I, Android. No, I, was it Samsung? What, what does Samsung use? Android. 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 So uh, the, uh, now the Facebook application. Uh, I think you're talking about is, the Google application because uh, Facebook and Google are not the same company. No, I know, but it's they. Uh, what I read today was that the Facebook application on those. It's not the iPhone; it's the other one. Uh, that the Facebook application is a icon and a program that comes on the phone, and you cannot remove it. I think you're right uh, because I had an Android briefly about a year ago, yeah. and I don't use Facebook. And I was like, "How do I get this crap off here?" And I couldn't. Oh. So it's not that new. I thought it was new. That it just just occurred. No. Yeah, that was. That, yeah, well, I don't know what the argument would be against that. I guess the same argument they used when. Well, no, because it isn't it, with. It's Google's Android system and it's Facebook, and they have no, no synergy as companies. They're not. To, they are owned by the same people, so you can't make the same argument you could where. With uh, Microsoft, they were complaining about Explorer. Remember being right? Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, now I, I don't remember where I read it, uh, but I read it today, and uh, yeah. So uh, why it, it are just, we off of TuneIn? Uh, we're not oh. on TuneIn anymore. Uh, didn't hear he that. He didn't. Man. He didn't pay the uh, money. They, just reading the news now. They canceled us. They didn't get their big. That's ridiculous. I have no idea. They sent me a letter saying that they were, uh, this is to inform you that our agreement is being stopped or whatever. But the agreement that I had with them was to be a, a, a tune-in partner. But I assume that the program was still going to be on their, on their system. All right, I'm and checking. All, all of a sudden, no, it's not. Don't even try. It's not there. Oh. Yeah. Well. And I can't go into random malls and uh, tell their machines to tune in to you. Well, you can do it by, uh, 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 oh, gee, you can't, you can't, actually, I'm going to have to take that off my, uh, the Facebook page about the say to Alexa, uh, go to tune in, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to change that tonight. So, yeah, this, uh, this, uh, I, just Googled it and it says, why can't I completely uninstall Facebook Android forum? Uh, so, uh, it's, uh, it, it's six, it's six months old, seven months old. Uh, the, um, <coughs> that you can't uninstall it. Right. Yeah. So it's, it's a pre-installed app. Wow. Hmm. Probably they pay Facebook probably paid them. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I have an I, I I put everything on my phone into icons like stuff I buy, financial, uh, travel, and then I've got an icon on a on the last page, so it's the only one on that page, and it's called shit I'll never use, and so the stuff I can't delete, I I drag over into the icon shit I'll never use. Yeah, yeah. Well, there are certain things with uh, with the Apple that are there on the phone. I'm trying to remember what. To some of them are. Uh, it's some sort of a uh, Garage Band, Fine Friends, yeah, iTunes Garage University, Band. yeah, numbers, yeah. pages, health tips, playbooks, yeah, uh, yeah. Keynote and clips. Uh, yeah. So that that shit I'll never use. Yeah, and you can't you can't get rid of it. Right. Yeah. It, I it, hate the fact I hate bloatware. You know, stuff you can't get rid of. And I have uh, I have this. This phone called a High Sense Pro A2 Pro. It has an e-reader on one side, and then it has the regular on the other. And uh, this replaced my Yoda phone too when that broke. Although I'm fixing that one, and this one has Chinese bloatware plus Google bloatware. Oh. It's like when you buy a PC from one of the big companies. Any big company, mm -hmm. you're going to get all kinds of 
you know, those trial softwares, all that bloatware, all it does is slow your computer down. I never, never bought a new PC without reinstalling Windows first thing out of the box. Right. Uh, yeah, I, well, bought okay. a, uh, I bought a laptop for my mom once, and it had, what, uh, I want to say a couple of gigs on it. Didn't need much, just needed, you know, some email and let her surf the web. But that goddamn thing was all already just about loaded to the gills with all the shit. Right. And, and you wanted to load just something, uh, one, one application on it, and you couldn't. Yeah. And, well, and, said- and everything, but when you boot up a Windows machine, all of those drivers, all of those DLL files all load up. When you yeah. reboot that computer, they're all running in memory, and they're eating up your memory, even though you're not running the program. And you even wanted, you even had to update Windows, and it couldn't do that. Uh, I bought really fast uh, Windows machines for the office, and I have an SSD drive and uh, lots of memory and all that stuff. And when I first got it six, seven months ago, mm-hmm. you clicked it on, and the thing was blazing fast. Now it's like you type, and two seconds later, the uh, the letters come up on the uh, thing you typed. Uh, so I, you know, I don't know what to do with this thing. Reinstall uh, Windows. Windows, yeah. you should probably reinstall, wipe and reinstall once a year because it just I gets full of crap. And now, yeah. uh, and on the other side of that, I've had this Mac now for three and a half, four years. There's no bloatware on it. Yeah. And you never touch it. You, it, it does the updates, and right. when it's done, it just runs the way it always ran. It, it's, yeah. it never gets slower over time. You can't beat a Mac. I've had mine it's a real, for four it's or five years, it's a real, and I, I hardly even yeah. shut it off. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. never, I never shut it off. System. Yeah, it's a real operating system. Windows yeah. is a kludge, always has been. Yeah, yeah. pain in the ass. So it's a bunch of band aids. But uh, they said on that Facebook thing, just to finish that topic, uh, that the reason that they want to take it off the Android phones is that it it deletes battery life uh, faster than if you don't have it. So if you don't have it on this on that phone, uh, the batteries last longer. That's kind of hard to believe because you can in your on your Android phone you can you can go and see what programs are running and close them. So if the program's not running just because the it's installed, I don't know how it's eating your battery. Uh, that's what this forum said. Maybe they're full of shit. Yeah, they're full of shit. I don't know what I'm talking about. I, just got I can see if you open it and you leave it open, yeah. because maybe it's looking it's looking for, you know, it's it's uh, using your, its GPS to, to track where it is, you know, and all mm-hmm. that other crap. So if you leave it open, I could see that. But yeah. if you never open it, it, it's not open. The program's not running. Yeah. By the way, I just got a note from somebody else. You don't know him, uh, but another person I know has cancer. No. no. Just, you know, never stops. No, uh, it doesn't. You know? <laughs> uh, My sister-in-law died of a heart attack today. Oh, really? No. Hey. Oh, Boy. My yeah. condolences. Yeah, Isn't this a, this a special night here? How old is your sister-in-law? Uh, she was like 62. I'll be 62 next week. Was she overweight? Oh. Was she overweight? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And she smoked. Oh. oh. And she lives in France. <laughs> oh. And she, no and no underpants. There's too much cheese. Yeah, no underpants. She wasn't wearing her underpants. No, that's uh, terrible. In France. Well, actually, it's my it's my my wife's brother's first wife, but I was closer to her than I was yeah. her sec- I, I, his second I wife. I thought the French had less yeah. heart disease because of their diet than they do. Uh, they other, do. Other they do. Yeah. Yes, oh, uh, they do. Bree, yeah. Bree, Bree has Overall, his hand up. Bree, Bree, people still have heart attacks. Bree yeah. has his yeah. hand up. Bree? Alex, since I tuned in, did you talk about, speaking of France, the uh, French director who said that he can't uh, look at any woman over 50? Uh, why? <laughs> There, because he prefers young women. Mm-hmm. Well, then he should meet R. Ke- he should meet R. Kelly. Did you? Uh, yeah. He should meet but R. This Kelly. This one was a, a director. It was in, I think, Vanity Fair, France, or something. Yeah. Uh, it was trending for a while yesterday. Yeah. Uh, I'll look it up. Uh, yeah, I. Uh, Me to his ass. <laughs> did anybody see this uh, five-part documentary on R. Kelly? No. I was no, riveted. Been he is it. being charged. I, I was riveted to it. Uh, Charlie, did you see it? You seem to be nodding yes. No, I didn't see it. I, no. I have no interest in R. Kelly. Well, I mean, the, the, but the, the, there, 
it's an interesting documentary in that it asks some very important questions like can you make so much money that you're impervious from anything you know that he for years been paying people off uh, they have been giving him a bad, t you know, been give, uh, letting him have uh, a pass at yeah. his record companies because he makes them lots of money. What does it say there? What's who's the French? Fre uh, French you know? author says uh, women over fifty are too old to to make yeah. love to. Yeah. Well, we don't read his books anyway. They're in French. Uh, yeah. Incapable of dating women his age. Well, who's why Yan should why Moy? should wait a minute, Why should he spark an outrage for that? Who you date is a matter of your yeah. own personal taste right and yeah, has this, no, this guy has nothing to do Yan with sexism Moy? or anything else you know or Never ageism i mean i when i was younger was i going to date somebody who was older no you know, hey, you know now 50 is a young uh, chipper woman yeah. but uh you know the, the guy looks very young he doesn't look like he's 50 but uh I mean, you look, know, it, it's all a matter of, you know, I could never date a 21 year old. Well, wait, wait, what, are, what are the people who are what are the people who are giving him a bad time saying <laughs> that if he can't get a hard like my kid. Well, you, you listen to me, if he can't get a hard on over old women, he's a bad guy. Well, no, but why should you condemn uh, uh, or try to shame uh, people that he's not attracted to. There are plenty of people that were probably attracted to he's, women over he said 50. They are invisible to him. Well, well I, I realize over I'm invisible. 50, they're I'm, invisible. I'm invisible. Maybe he wants to host the Oscars. Hey, I'm invisible all the time. When I'm on a subway car, nobody's looking at me anymore. You know, I'm invisible. Yeah, they're they're afraid you'll take the senior seat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so if they don't look in your eyes, they can take the seat and they don't have I, to I go up it. to him, I go, I want that fucking seat. I get nothing for being 79 years old. I want that, okay? <laughs> Give me the fucking seat. Yeah, Give me your wallet. Yeah, <laughs> you know. But well, how did anybody feel that way like I do about this guy, that he really shouldn't be assailed for this, that it's a personal yeah. taste? I, and you know, It's his own business, man. Yeah, but I don't see why they're giving him all this press for for a stupid statement like that. You know that. Well, he you got to read the full article. He kind of goes in depth into it, so he sort of digs deeper. It's a little uh, it's a little too late in the show to bring this up, but has, have you been following the Kevin Spacey in, uh, arraignment and so on uh, indictment on? Yeah, he got charges. off a speeding ticket. No, well, yeah, that, that, that's, got a warning. That, that's another story altogether. But mm. I don't know that I'm trying to say what really happened there that, you know, he like grabbed the guy's thigh and that was it. And so now he's, no. he, 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 no, he actually opened his zipper and he put his hand down his pants and fondled him. Oh, he did. Oh, I didn't Allegedly, know. He, yeah. And was yeah. this guy underage at the time? He was underage he was, before a few drinks. No, he, he was, was 18. Overage. He, was, he 18. was 18. He was underage to drink. Oh. But, but that's his, that's his own personal crime. As long as as long as uh Spacey wasn't like trying to get him drunk. Well, but, that's what they said he was buying him drinks. They were saying that he was underage when he was not drunk and then he was drunk and he was overage. That's the not quote drunk. unquote situation. Oh, well, that's just defense. Well, anyway, the point is, the point is that that uh, doesn't this guy have the ability to say, "Get your fucking hands out of my fucking pants"? Uh, when he's drunk, maybe not. You know, I mean, uh, you know, it's not like that's he was forcing thing. himself on him. You know, you then do. Then he goes have... home and winds to mommy, and then mommy no, gets up. No, no, he didn't wind to mommy. A... He actually phoned his, I think, his girlfriend. And said, yeah, guess but what his just mom is the one that's making all the noise. Guess what just she... happened to me? Guess who just put his hand down my pants? Yeah. Yeah. But his mom is sitting there in all the press conferences. It. Is his mom a celebrity? Yeah, his mom is a, not a celebrity, but she's a news a reporter news... or something. He yeah. was excited about it until a new perspective came along. And we're seeing a lot of this. He was yeah, excited until he found out funny. Kevin Spacey wasn't a girl. <laughs> Everything is being re uh, oops. Oops. with the new perspective. Yeah. What was that Adam's apple? <laughs> Hooker? Oops. <laughs> Hooker? Oops. Yeah. 
I mean, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, it's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, I, I mean, I don't know what to think of the whole Kevin Spacey thing, but I think really he should skate on this one. You know? Well, he, he had that little uh, spiel before, was it before Christmas, the, that YouTube yeah. spiel that he had? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there was something to that. Where he was doing... I don't know what it was, because you would think that he, he was quiet for so long, and then all of a sudden he'd come out with that. You sh I'm sure he talked to his attorney before he did that. Well, he did the thing in character. In and character. actually, he sounded pretty good. It was... Yeah. <laughs> he's a good actor. Yeah. But, um, uh, you know, I mean, I I think... I I just think this is a, somewhat of a bogus charge. I, 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 in many, in most cases, if this kind of thing happened, it wasn't Kevin Spacey, and it wasn't in the Me Too area, uh, and it isn't even it doesn't even constitute Me Too because Me Too is a women's movement, not a guy who's getting his ha a, a hand down his pants. Nah, to me, it looks like a money piece, grab to me. Piece of the action. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would, I would have just looked at him and said, "Just keep going far enough so I can file suit." That's what yeah. I would have said to him, and I think he would have stopped. You know. Uh, I, I just, you know, I'm, I, and I'm not defending him. I hear he's a real creep, you know, I hear he's a real asshole, but you know, this, it, there's no law against being an asshole. And, yeah. uh, that's kind of what uh, is happening at this point with him. Uh, and then you, and then, you know, you, I mean, these are the, the, he was a, what, number two after, uh, what's his name after, um, uh, God, my mind's a blank now. John Travolta. No. <laughs> oh, why, was, was Weinstein. Weinstein. He, yeah. was, he yeah. was the second one after Weinstein. Oh, yeah. And yeah. I think third. Wasn't third Louis uh, C.K., I think? No, there was there was a lot of people that... Yeah, that I think there was a few in between there. Yeah, yeah. A lot of them. Yeah. Uh, you know, and some... Uh, and, uh, many false accusations, uh, you know, and... Uh, some stick and some don't. Yeah, it's like spaghetti. But uh, you know something? Any 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 uh, assertion of that sort sticks, whether you want it to or not, whether it's disproven or not. There will always be people that will say, "Isn't he the guy who blah blah blah?" It stinks you up know. the room. Well, yeah, and, and and you could be totally innocent. That's why I'm I'm so careful about these <clears throat> these stories, yeah. is because you know you all you, all somebody has to do is accuse you. And even though you present it, oh, look, I didn't do this, I didn't do this, and everybody comes forward and says, no, he didn't do that, and you're proven that you didn't do it, there's still going to be that. Pe those people who go, isn't that the guy who, you know? Well, look at the Supreme Court uh, thing, you know, uh, with uh, Blasey Ford. Uh, you know, people thought, you know, we're giving her credibility because of I st her I still give profession. Her, I still give her credibility. And you know, yeah. but on the on the other hand, they investigated it and they found no they didn't no evidence. <laughs> hey, now the FBI is no good. You know, one minute they're no great. Good. Oh, the, the FBI had their hands hate tied. Trump. Two days. The FBI yeah, had their hands, hands tied. You know, yeah, they, when, they, when the FBI hates Trump, they're they're good. When they don't agree with you, then they're bad. Well, that's you're you're yeah. you're taking this a whole different direction. We're just saying that I believe that Blasey Ford was telling the truth. Yeah. And, and, and on what I, basis? I, I, huh? On what basis? Why, she was why telling is, the truth, why is Brian, but she wasn't wait, talking wait, about the right guy. Hold on a second. Why is Brian... Brian, why are you calling us in the last 30 seconds of the program? Kevin Spacey was mentioned. Huh? <laughs> why are you calling the Sorry. last 30 seconds of the program? <laughs> oh, I, I you, you were closed the other two days. I was just testing to see if you were... Uh, I just called Jack then, but... The, <laughs> Sorry, I, I thought I'd just test to see if you were there. Okay. Uh, well, anyway, yeah, I tried going on your Facebook page. I didn't see any updates or anything when you were coming uh, back. Yeah, no. Wh what do you mean when I'm coming back? I was going to come back week. on Monday. I was back last week. It, this show's not live. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah right. right. This we heard at a later date. This show. Uh, that's a that's a theme song. Uh, gee, one more person and we would have had a full house, right? No. Two more people we would have had a full house? Yeah, two. Oh, you got okay. eight. Okay, well, we did have two others, but they couldn't get in. Uh, how's that? All right? Yeah. yeah. It was hey. almost hey. a full house. Uh, so, uh, uh, Kevin, the, uh, the device is out of you now and you're back to pain, right? 
Yes, sir. Okay, good. I'm happy for you. Uh, uh, Charlie, good having you here. I love the fact that you're back. You're one of the gang. Yeah. <laughs> Rob? I'm glad to be back. Uh, terrific. And we're, we're stopping the iTunes ads here. Uh, and uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, oh, also, Brian, thank you for participating tonight. Uh, yeah, brave as I was. <laughs> Phil Meyer, thank you. Thank you, Ray Renati and uh, Bree. Thank you as well. In fact, what I'd like all of you to do is to give a big wave goodbye to everybody out there. There they go. There go the people. Okay, well, uh, that's it uh, for tonight. Uh, let me just hang up on everybody. Uh, who knows if my Skype is going to work anymore after tomorrow. But we'll figure that one out. Uh, guess who's next? Of course, it's our old friend, uh, Jack Bishop. He'll be here with the intersection and uh, tomorrow night at uh, 930, uh, it's Damian Chaplin, and he's here with The Exchange. I'm back again tomorrow night with The Ramble, 10 o'clock Eastern time, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye. <laughs>